I feel really positive going in and I just had a meet in Copenhagen and had some quite good swims there in my 50s and my 100s so yeah it's quite a nice confidence boost, quite relieving honestly um, going in and getting close to PBs so it's nice, I'm feeling confident and positive going towards the racing. I'm really looking forward to moving into the village and getting into that sort of race mentality now so I really enjoy once getting into the village and getting into that routine and it's nice coming out to Australia so early just to get a feel for the country obviously so different to being, to being in England so yeah it's nice I think everyone's here to do one thing and that's to do the best they can and it's really nice because everyone gets on and it's the first time that us para swimmers have kind of bonded with the able-bodied swimmers so it's really good how like everyone's clicked really quickly and it's nice we have quite a good team atmosphere for me, um, it's just going to be do the best that I can because as an S6, I'm going to be racing amongst S7s. So I'll be racing against people who are effectively more disabled, no, less disabled than I am. So effectively, it's going to be quite difficult. It should be more challenging. So really just to do the best that I can. And then if I win a medal, then that's just a bonus for me, really. I was actually a part of making the video for the anthem. so. Um, I've heard it quite a lot of times, had it played on repeat for like two hours while I was standing there like minding the words. <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I've come to, terms, <laughs> come to terms with that song and I really like it. It's nice how Team England have their own national anthem and if I was to get on the podium, if I was to sing that song, then honestly it would be an honour because I think it's nice because it really defines England now and it's good because we have something special, something that's personal to Team England, so it'd be nice.